James G. Stavridis was born February 15, 1955 in West Palm Beach, Florida to parents George and Shirley. His father was a colonel in the Marine Corps and later was president of Allegheny College. Jim was raised with his sister, Anne. He wanted to follow his father's footsteps serving our country, so he chose to attend the Naval Academy for a difficult challenge. Jim excelled at the academy where he played varsity squash, was brigade operation officer, and made the superintendent's list for three years while ranking 19th in his class. A talented writer, he was editor-in-chief of The Log and a columnist for Shipmate magazine. The Lucky Bag noted that Jim tore through those brief four years constantly seeking new experiences. He will excel at all he does. After graduation, Jim embarked on a career as a surface warfare officer starting aboard the destroyer USS Hewitt and aircraft carrier USS Forrestal. After earning a PhD in international law from the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy at Tufts University, he served as operations officer on the USS Valley Forge and EXO on the USS Antietam during Desert Storm. At the Pentagon, Jim was on the CNO executive panel and was later a special assistant to the Secretary of the Navy. Jim's first command was on the guided missile destroyer USS Barry in 1993, which deployed in combat operations off the Balkans. He led his ship to win the Battenberg Cup as the top ship in the Atlantic fleet. As Commodore of Destroyer Squadron 21, he deployed to the Arabian Gulf region as sea combat commander. Jim was in the Pentagon within feet of the 9-11 attack. As a one star in the global war on terror, he was assigned by the CNO to lead the Navy's strategic planning group, Deep Blue. Jim returned to sea as commander of the Enterprise Strike Group during combat operations in the Gulf region. He was promoted directly from one to three star rank and was assigned as senior military assistant to the Secretary of Defense during the height of wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Next, he became the first admiral in charge of the U.S. Southern Command, which helped defeat terrorists in Colombia and stop hundreds of tons of narcotics from entering the U.S. Jim was also the first, and so far the only admiral, to serve as the Supreme Allied Commander of NATO. He led over 200,000 troops in combat in Afghanistan, the Balkans, and Libya, as well as counter-piracy off the coast of Africa. Over his Navy career, Jim received 50 international military decorations, 28 from foreign nations. He was also honored with the Navy League's John Paul Jones Award for Inspirational Leadership and the Alfred Thayer Mahan Award for Literary Achievement. After his retirement in 2013, Jim served five years as Dean of the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy at Tufts University, where he earned his PhD as a lieutenant. He is now Vice Chair of Global Affairs at the Carlisle Group. He has served on numerous boards, including chairman for the Rockefeller Foundation and chairman for the U.S. Naval Institute. Jim is an accomplished author. He has written more than 2,000 professional articles, is a weekly columnist for Bloomberg Opinion, and has written 12 books, including Command at Sea and Watch Officer's Guide, which are the heart of the seagoing profession. He has also written a best-selling novel, 2034, which has been published in 22 languages. As Chief International Analyst for NBC News, he has made over 3,000 national media appearances. In addition, he has given four Forrestal lectures, a TED Talk with nearly a million hits, and seven commencement speeches at leading universities. Jim supports the Academy through appearances at conferences, participating in Navy squash events, writing articles, and providing letters of recommendation for midshipman candidates. Jim's most cherished personal accomplishment is his marriage to Laura. Two terrific daughters, Christina and Julia, a Navy nurse married to an Annapolis graduate, and six grandchildren. Reflecting on his career, his most meaningful accomplishments are winning the Battenberg Cup as a sea captain, serving as 16th Supreme Allied Commander NATO, Commander of U.S. Southern Command, and finally, the 12 books he's written on leadership, character, and the oceans. Admiral James G. Stavridis, an extraordinary naval combat leader, renowned national voice and scribe of the naval profession, and accomplished educator, author, and ambassador for the U.S. Naval Academy.